Lap dances are like snowflakes. No two are the same. Discuss the great works of Slavonic literary figures. Pushkin, Eugene Onegin, Boris Pasternak, Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, in lieu of a more traditional lap dance with recent Ukrainian emigre Maxine, she of the tiny rock-hard fake tits and the enviably erect pink nipples. Does Dylan deserve the Nobel Prize in recognition of a half century of poetic lyrics, while William Golding receives the same honor for his one volume documenting English public school boy institutional bullying on a post-apocalyptic, uncharted tropical island in the South Pacific? You write a poem about me, Maxime, for the next time you come here. Are you from Kiev, Odessa, Sevastopol? I am from St. Petersburg and later Moscow. St. Petersburg like you're Washington, Moscow like New York. No, 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 no. St. Petersburg, not like Washington, is more like your New Orleans. The culture, the arts, the architecture, beautiful old Moscow. Still like New York, you like to travel, you see the world. I've never been anywhere like an 18th century Russian peasant, a serf bound to the feudal lands of his liege lord count in the wild, open, untamed, barren steppes of Eurasia. I never left my sleepy little village for that great world that lies beyond the horizon, except my little sleepy village was New York City. Never stare at a stripper's tits while she's giving you a lap dance. Always try to maintain eye contact even if she's as cockeyed as Juliet Lewis, just like tiny tit Maxine here at Flash Dancers Gentlemen's Club. What part of my body you like best? Your nose! My nose! Nobody ever tell me that before. I certainly wasn't going to compliment you on your cement block tiny traffic cone tits. I think chicks with noses of great distinction, Lady Gaga, Cher, Maya and Bailey, TV's Blossom, Jennifer Grey before suffering that horribly disfiguring rhinoplasty, or even Huma Abedin. Nose. Nose is such useless body organ. The nose is indispensable in keeping one's eyeglasses securely fastened upon one's face. But I do not wear eyeglasses. Maybe sunglasses. Some guys consider a chick with a big nose as having a third tit. I do not like people with so-called perfect noses. I like people with broken noses. Shows that they have lived a little. How you say in English? Uh, experience. They are experience. I have boyfriend once back in St. Petersburg. He had badly broken nose. Smashed, plastered to the side of his face. I think that's very sexy. I win... Halloween costume contest here. They tell me that was first time night shift girls not win contest. Night shift girls always win. I dress as, as jerk. I wear big baggy man suit and man pants, bushy eyebrows, wig, and draw tattoos all over my body with black magic marker. I win! First time night shift girl win Halloween costume contest at Flash Dancers. Well, I won Best Neptune at the Coney Island Mermaid Parade in 2004. I was Zeus, appearing to Europa, the rape of Europa. I carried this girl on my shoulder, Europa, for the entire two-mile route. She probably only weighed about 120 pounds, but 100 pounds of that must have been in her ass, her incredibly big, fat ass. Moby, the DJ, was the judge that year. Coney Island? I live in Coney Island. I love Coney Island. I love Coney Island Mermaid Parade. <laughs> One minute, Mark. <laughs> but now, these days, I don't like Coney Island Mermaid Parade much anymore. Too big, too commercial. Not like it used to be when I first arrived there from Ukraine, so now I moved to No. You were redhead once, yes? I can tell from your eyebrows, and you have, how do you say it in English? Uh, freckles, yes, freckles! Freckles all over your arm. When I was a little girl, I have freckles all on my face, but they are gone now. My hair was wet, but one morning I woke up and it turned this funny color. People think I dye my hair this color, but I didn't. My arm hair is still red, see? I can't show them to you here, but my pubic hair is still red too. <laughs>